All right, the speaker is uh, Carlos uh, Eduardo Mata. Yes. Uh, Mota. Hardening a Geonode project, some considerations about container security and optimization. Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, I will discuss here about some uh, security holes that we have found into the, the Geonode project using the 3.3 version. And uh, I will show some little bits of uh, code, a lot of uh, Docker files, to, to show how it's not suitable for production yet. And in five minutes, I, I will try to, to solve this problem. Is Geonode on Docker suitable for production? Uh, in the, the Geonode documentation, they, there, are, there are some, uh, some, docu some, some documents about uh, how to put Geonode in production, but some of uh, the, the code, the script, say, uh, uh, inside the, the, the project, it has a lot of little problems, and I will show you some of them. But, uh, so, uh, I, I will start call, uh, to talk to you about the 10 amendments of uh, securing a Docker image. Uh, there is 10 little holes that uh, we have to, to we have to execute, to have to, to, collect, to put on the, our Docker files, but uh, I, I will make more attention. We have light here. Oh, yes. Uh, and I will give some, give them some access to these uh, red ones. Uh, let's see. The, the first update done into the Docker file images is only to change the base image. It's a little, it's a little update on the, the, on the Docker file, but it, it leaks us, 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 and solves us some uh, big problems there. Uh, changing the base image to uh, Python 3.8.9 to the most recent 3.8 version uh, solves a lot of critical uh, vulnerabilities have on the image. Uh, the default Python used on Geonode has about uh, uh, 61 two issues, and the 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 the, the, the most recent Python 3.8 H has about 48 issues either. Uh, and this this changing of the 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 Docker file uh, allows allows us to to get the latest security features, not only in the, the Python version, but either in the Linux version, the Debian version. Uh, John Node uses the Buster, uh, the Buster Debian version, and uh, so he, he inserts a, a, a bullseye uh, repository into the, the, the Docker file. Upgrading, upgrading to bullseye, there's no need to do this. Let's, sh let's show the second. Uh, remember, uh, we, are, we are going to, 61 to uh, 612 vulnerabilities to at least 48. Okay. Uh, the, second, the second is to, to break the, the entire Docker file into stages of building. Uh, first, we have, first, we build the dependencies and then we copy the virtual env created to the, the release image. And so, uh, it makes our Docker file more simple and the vulnerability less. Uh, we fall for, from uh, 76.3 to 339 issues. And the other, simple, the other simple change that we do is to literally eliminate the root user into the Docker file, uh, preventing a lot of problems that we can, that we can have. The special results obtained about the, uh, these simple changes is to reduce the, the size margin for actually four times minors, uh, the number of layers to 49 to 29, this is either a good, a good choice, and the vulnerabilities to 763 to 339 and can lower in, 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 and can lower more if if we uh, we apply some linting into the Docker file and correct some little problems. And this is a work in progress for us. We we are living to handle sensitive data, except on the uh, on the on the on the, the, the passwords and so on. Okay. 
finishing. Uh, we have to, we want to do the same into the GeoServer GeoNode Docker file and, and transform it into a GeoNode project to, uh, to, to put it on public to, to everyone who wants to contribute and make some suggestions. Okay, sorry for my poor English, thank you so much. <laughs>